What's up guys? Uh, I got another movie review for you. This is from one of my favorite uh, film companies, Full Moon Entertainment. Now these are the same guys that brought you stuff like uh, Puppet Master, Trancers, Demonic Toys, uh, Doll Man, Crash and Burn, yada yada yada. I could go on and on. Uh, the head honcho over there is Charlie Band, which totally awesome guy. The guy that actually inspired me. Uh, one of the guys inspired me to do, you know, filmmaking and stuff with friends. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about one of uh, his awesome franchises. Um, obviously, my favorite's Puppet Master, but this one comes, it comes to a very close uh, second. And it's called Subspecies. Now, there's four right now. There's a fifth one in the works. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's from the same director. Uh, that director being uh, Ted Nicolau. And the majority of these films, I want to say all of them, were like filmed on location in Romania, which is awesome. You don't get that that much. You get like a Hollywood lot you film in, and then a bunch of sets, and maybe if you have the money. But uh, Full Moon Entertainment um, was kind of flip-floppy. You know, they would have money, and then they won it. You know, this, this was like the heyday. The peak, I want to say. They're peaking again, but this is definitely the peak, early 90s, for Full Moon Entertainment. So Subspecies is a vampire film, um, a vampire franchise, but the first one um, basically was this uh, feu feuding um, Romanian family, pretty much. Kind of think of like Vlad the Impaler. Um, well, anyway, you know, the family gets cursed by a sorceress, whatever. Uh, one of the uh, offspring survives to present day named Radu, and he kind of like, you know, haunts and stalks around this castle of his. You know, enter modern day Romania. Uh, a bunch of college girls kind of like cross paths and trying to like, you know, learn Romanian culture, you know, just to, you know, pass the time and enjoy themselves. They're in different countries. What else are you going to do? Um, but yeah, obviously, it wouldn't be a movie if they didn't, you know, they didn't cross paths with people, some seedy looking people, especially there, you know. And like I said, this movie's loaded with atmosphere and it just, you know, it, it's the budget's. Like I said, you could tell and you can't tell. Like I said, they used and utilized what they had. That's what I love about Full Moon. Yeah, it's a B-movie, but most of the stuff is practical. And it shows. Um, and that that's always a plus for me. Anyway, um, these college girls, they get kind of like lured in. Um, they come across Radu. One of them, you know, eventually succumbs to the vampire. Uh, one of the hero characters kind of, kind of like, you know, sway him. It's a back and forth. It's a very easy setup. You've seen this a million times. But it's the charm of the movie. Like I said, not just the era. Early 90s. I, think, I believe this was 91. Um, like I said, when you see, when you meet Radu, he's full Nosferatu, long-haired vampire, fangs, always like drooling blood. You know, this isn't no Euro trash you know, and charm your pants off kind of guy. This guy wants to just rip your flesh off, you know. And basically, he's trying to control this thing. I believe it's like a family heirloom called the uh, the Bloodstone, which is the blood of the saints. Um, whoever has that kind of like has the power, pretty much. And he has minions, which are pretty cool. Charlie Pan uh, always, any full, t full moon movie, most of them have like little creatures. And... During the heyday, they were all, like, you know, in-camera effects, whether it be stop-motion or, um, like, uh, you know, practical, you know, puppets. You have, like, ten people to one puppet in the Puppet Master films. But here, you have, like, these little demon minions that kind of, like, um, help Red Dude do his bidding, pretty much. When he's, like, seducing someone or draining someone's blood, they're always there in the background doing stuff. Um, and they're, they're brought to life by David Allen, who David Allen worked... A lot, uh, not exclusively, but a lot with Charlie Band to bring uh, to life some of these, you know, creatures you see throughout the, um, you know, uh, Full Moon films. And it's all, it's pretty cool. Stop, mar uh, stop motion uh, animation. It's a lost art. You don't see it today. It's replaced by CGI. And, yeah, CGI is a, is a um, you know, improving every year. But this is cool. If you want to see something that, you know, you probably won't see again, then I would definitely say, you know, revisit this movie. Um, Full Moon has their own streaming service, but this movie's been out since the 90s. I'm sure you can stream it anywhere. Or watch the trailer. Um, like I said, it was a it's a fun movie. It was a fun franchise. It's not the best. It's not going to win any awards. <coughs> but um, 
I appreciate it. Like I said, I love Full Moon Entertainment. I grew up with them. Uh, they inspired me to be, you know, a filmmaker and write film and just think outside the box. And it definitely shows. And I think uh, Subspecies, while not the most original vampire film, is definitely in the ranks. is entertaining. And I definitely think you guys should check it out. Totally recommend it. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, like I said, it's a wild ride. Every one of them, like I said, the, the first four, they're all connected. So it would kind of make sense to uh, watch them in order, unless you don't care about that. It was a spinoff. It was tied to it later, like uh, called Vampire Journals. I think that takes place after Subspecies 3. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah. Entertaining. Like I said, it's a good, uh, you know, Saturday night horror flick. If you want to watch, you know, a B-movie, have a laugh, and just, you know, enjoy wh why these movies were made. So, um, do yourself a favor. Check it out if you got nothing to do. Alright, guys. Um, that's all i got to say. Uh, hope you dig the review. Like I said, um, there's so much more I could touch on this because, like, uh, subspecies, full moon entertainment made up, I would say, a good part of my uh, childhood. But um, as far as this movie goes, yeah, it's a vampire movie made in Romania. So uh, the setting, everything from the atmosphere, the way it feels, it's awesome. Check it out if you want. I'll leave you a link at the bottom here. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. See you all very, very soon. Peace.